Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? I feel like that few people knew that you have a deep connection with China and you have a deep interest in China. So can you tell me a little bit about when and why and how did you start to be uh, interest in China? Sure, and thank you for asking. I tell you, in preparation for today's interview, uh, it, it, uh, it prompted me to go back and revisit my first experience in China. Uh, I was a co in college at the time uh, at the University of Oklahoma, and uh, the president at the time, President David Bourne, who's a former governor and former U.S. senator, uh, who had a great relationship with China when he was serving in the U.S. Senate, uh, came to Oklahoma, became the president of the University of Oklahoma, and started a program called the Journey to China program. And that is where my relationship with China started. In fact, uh, I was probably having a little too much fun in college, and uh, the pre president born at the time said, look, now it's time for you to graduate. <laughs> and he said, I'll, I'll fund you anywhere in the world, but you got to graduate this year. And uh, so I, I said, well, I'll pick the furthest place from Oklahoma. I'll go to China. And uh, that's uh, certainly how uh, my, my connection to China started. And I went on a trip uh, with a group of students from the University of Oklahoma, the Journey to China program. And little did I know that that program, that experience was going to be a life-changing experience for me. I, uh, we studied at the best universities there, uh, Xi'an University, uh, Kunming University, uh, Beijing University, uh, Peking, uh, uh, Peking University, and Fudan University. And uh, in the course of our travels and certainly studying at all those universities, we had such an enriching experience uh, learning about Chinese history, Chinese culture, certainly Chinese music. Uh, we studied language at all those universities and just really had a, a, a wealth of an experience, uh, an immersion into uh, China, uh, Chinese culture. And uh, that's where my love for China started. That's where uh, I met so many wonderful students and uh, certainly folks uh, in our travels. Uh, I met a lot of Chinese officials, uh, a lot of the, the music industry, ironically. Uh, started a lot of great relationships that I still have. Started at that time when I was just a student uh, in our, our touring around uh, uh, China. And so uh, that's where, where that connection started. And then over the years, uh, when I certainly got back to school and graduated finally from the University of Oklahoma and moved to Washington, D.C. and worked for uh, President Bush, uh, Bush 43, that administration, and had an even deeper immersion into the relationship, uh, certainly that the United States shares with China um, from that angle as a young staffer, and uh, had a lot of interfaces when Chinese delegations would come to the United States. Uh, so I had a, a greater connection then uh, that started, and, and now as an entertainer, uh, after I left uh, the, uh, the political arena um, and moved into entertainment, uh, my love affair, I would say, or my connection with China grew even more. And I've had some tremendous experiences to, to perform uh, in front of uh, Asian American audiences uh, and have a, a great relationship with the Asian American community here. And, uh, and in my, my recent performances and relationship with uh, President Trump and the First Lady, uh, Melania Trump, uh, the experiences of performing at their inauguration, uh, victory celebration. Uh, I had the great pleasure to perform for President Trump's um, re-election kickoff rally this past June, and, and my interfaces of performing for the president and the administration has certainly uh, created opportunities to build a greater relationship uh, with China and the Asian American community. So I tell you, going from studying at the University of Oklahoma and academia to uh, going into politics and working for President uh, Bush to now being an entertainer uh, and singing quite a bit uh, politically and, uh, and across the world, uh, I have had this beautiful relationship that has gone over many, many years uh, with China and, um, and it's been such an enriching experience.